Hey Eric, how you doing? I'm doing good, how are you doing? Yeah, great, I uh, just had something to eat so I'm feeling replenished. So uh, good show for you, uh, Schlappy Engineering. Of course, we've seen you all over the globe. <laughs> Probably saw you at Superproof last, right? For sure. So what's going on? Um, so we've been um, kind of working on our way towards a full system and I've been sort of lost in these strange four-bit logic modules lately. I released uh, the Nibbler earlier this year, and then the BitMix. The Nibbler is like a sort of rhythmic pattern generator based on binary counting, and the BitMix is a logic combiner. Um, and then what we're going to release, hopefully by the time anyone sees this video, if not shortly thereafter, is the Bitfold, which in the 4-bit binary system is an analog to digital converter but it also acts as a wave folder and a distortion. Ah, okay. So, um, like the more straightforward use case for it is a, a heavy wave folder uh, acting on um, a unique circuit. Right. And then the more esoteric use case would be running LFOs into it to generate gates from converting the voltages to four bit uh, gate outputs. Ah, so they're like quantized to sort of whatever the wave goes in. Okay, interesting. So we've got something running in the background. Is that kind of using this stuff? Yeah, so we've got, um, let's see if I can pull it back a little bit. We've got a kick drum made with the angle grinder. Then based on the interstellar radio, we've got this, um, kind of percussion type voice. And so coming off of the three body is this sort of uh, stereo type voice. Um, if we bring down the modulation a little bit, should have a big stereo drone. Oh, nice. Um, and then we can kind of bring up the modulation over the ratio and also over this LFO, which can go all the way to super harsh places as well as some fairly clean um, phase modulation. And if we tighten up that envelope uh, and bring in our bit fold here, that's one of the waveforms from the three body going through um, the 100 grit filter. Okay. So is this is this basically is it hybrid or are you do you work mostly in the digital domain? How does it work for you? So this one um, is in that confusing realm of analog and CMOS chips, which is uh, uh, confusing. Um, analog probably. Analog <laughs> probably. Okay. Um, so if we remove our modulation and set the three body to kind of a lower um, frequency, you can hear it as More of a, a wave folder. folder yeah. um, and if you look at these waveforms, your um, the input waveform is this triangle wave, and then it becomes quantized into this four-bit triangle wave. It generates a square wave and also this saw folder. We're listening to a mix of the quantized waveform right now which pretty much sounds like the input with a little bit of grid on top. And this uh, sawtooth folder, we can also listen to 
the um, the bits of so as the analog voltage is converted to binary, the binary bits have this sort of octave relationship to each other. Ah, uh, okay. So you have four related square wave octaves, with the top one giving you 15 octaves of light folding. So it's quite, yeah, interesting. And it reacts quite differently to different inputs. So that's on a triangle wave, giving us kind of a smooth hard sync sound. On a sinusoidal wave, we get these sort of steps happening. Um, and it always, to me, my desire is always to turn it to something slightly below audio rate so that you get these um, strange uh, audio rate coming from folding sub-audio rate signals. Interesting. So, some quite unique sounds. I mean, it sounds quite digital, but it's it's not. I mean, which is the yeah the thing about the wave folder, right? Yeah. So it's it has to do with this relationship between um, binary and a wave folder, because a uh, <laughs> analog to digital converter um, flips bits each time you pass pass a threshold, and um, these bits have this sort of octave uh, or power of two right, so uh, they relationship. Give you those harmonics around. So this is, you say it's sort of hopefully going to be at, when, when, when and how much is your plan? I actually need to pick the price. Oh, but okay. <laughs> I, I think 200 and something probably, putting it in line with our other recent modules. That'd be euros, presumably, would it? Uh, so that's US dollars. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. maybe a little more than that, euros. Yeah, yeah, um, and and well, this video will be out quite soon, so it's probably not going to be ready by tomorrow, I'd imagine. But no, not by tomorrow. <laughs> but um, some sometime in the next month or so, right? Yeah, we we got the boards in this week, but I was already on my way to this conference. Right, gotcha. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you so much, Nick.